Riley, welcome to the backyard. Today, you and I are gonna be remembering some of the best scavenger hunts that we've been on. And you get to play a scavenger hunt game over all of these videos because you're gonna be looking for Cartoon Kylie, Cartoon Dax, and don't forget to find Cartoon Hash Brown all throughout the video. Are you ready? Awesome. Gotcha! Hey everybody, it's me, Kylie, and... <laughs> Do you see that huge bug? Get out of here, my friend is here. <sighs> I can't handle it. Ugh. We need to catch it. You wanna catch a bug with me? Got our bug catcher, got my net. I lost the trail of our studio bug, but I bet we can find some other amazing bugs out here, don't you think? Let's go bug hunting. This big tree fell down in a storm that we had. I wonder if there's any bugs hanging around these branches. Bugs. You see anything? Oh, I see something. He's in the net, he's in the net! Okay, time to put him in here. I think you're really gonna like the house we made for you. You see him in there? Let's go find some more. <laughs> Do you have a favorite kind of bug? A ladybug? A buzz bee? Oh, how about a little ant? A grasshopper. Oh, you know what other kind of bug I love? Caterpillars. How about you? I think mine would be a butterfly or a lightning bug. I love those when they light up at night. My favorite. I really want to see a butterfly. Butterflies really like flowers. Maybe we should go somewhere where there's flowers, right? Oh! Okay. You're nice and safe, don't worry. There you go. Look at this bee. It's getting pollen, and it's going from one flower to the next. That helps the bee have food to eat, but it also helps the flowers. It pollinates them, which helps other flowers grow. Isn't that amazing? Look at that spider. He can't wait to get inside. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> you can come in, spider. Here you go. <laughs> We've seen a lot of bugs that like the sunshine and flowers and grass. Now we're gonna look for some bugs that like the cool darkness of underneath things. Let's flip over this stump and see if we can find any. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Amazing. Who knew there were so many bugs living in this one little under the stump world? Here's a grub. We found so many amazing bugs under there. I better put the stump back so that they stay nice and safe. Bye, thanks for showing us you. Still really want to catch a butterfly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh! Look at him. Welcome to the family. Ouch. Whoa, what an amazing world of bugs we've discovered. I'm gonna keep these guys just outside for a little while. And once I'm done looking at them, I'll let them go again. Whenever I need materials for my art projects that I don't have in my studio, I like to start outside. Come on, let's look for something to make our planets out of. Ugh, my son's always leaving his toys in the yard. Oh. 
Do you like to play sports? You do? Come on. Wait a minute. I just had such a good idea. What if we use different kinds of balls to make the planets out of? Let's go get that one. I think it would make a really good Earth. Looks like Earth to me. So we have one. We need seven more balls. Let's go on a hunt. Oh. Do you know what kind of ball this is? It's a tennis ball. This would make a great mercury. Oh, there's a ball in this car. This ball lights up. You know what is the brightest planet? Venus. Let's use this one for Venus. Mercury, Venus, we got Earth. <gasps> Mars is a small red planet, so I think this would be a great Mars. And then next is the biggest planet, Jupiter. Look at this. Basketball. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, the planet with the rings around it, uh, Saturn. Hmm. Do you see a ball anywhere? Oh! Another basketball. But this one's a little smaller. So is Saturn, so this works great. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, two left. Uranus. Mm. Oh, look at this little soccer ball. Uranus, Neptune, a little smaller than this. Perfect. We'll use this tiny, tiny bowling ball. I have all of the letters in my backpack. Should we start with the letter A? I think so, yeah. Oh, and a snack. Not only is this delicious, this starts with the letter A. Do you hear it? Ah, 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 apple. sound B makes? B, B. Look over here. Basket, ball. That's a double B, baby. B, B, B. Basketball. Our next letter is C. Do you know what sound C makes? C, anything that starts with the letter C. The sound k, k, k. Because I do. Car, k, car. Oh, I have an idea. Hold on. You go down there. Car <laughs> starts with Let's see, we got A, A, B, B, C, K. Next is D. Huh. D makes a D sound. D, D. I know. Come here. Do you know what this is? It's a disc golf basket. D, D, disc. Do you hear it? Here's a disc. Watch this.
Disc. And now for the putt. D for disc, D for disc. Hoi! Next up is the letter E. E can say its own name like this, E, or it can make the sound E. Eh. Let's try to find an E sound. I have an idea. Come to my mailbox. Wait for it. Yep. Envelope. Eh, eh. Do you hear it? Eh. Envelope. E. Hmm. F. F makes this sound. So we need to find something that starts with that sound. I see something. A fire hydrant. F -f fire. Fire hydrant. Perfect. F for fire hydrant. Next is the letter G. G makes a sound. G, G. Can you say it? G, G. How about g gate? Gate. Gate. Perfect. Gate. I see hash brown is the sound that goes with the letter H, which is our next letter. Hi, hash brown. Ugh. We're playing the alphabet game. I need to put this on you. Oh, man. No one else was this complicated. Okay. H. H for hash brown. Oh, he's escaping. He was in a hurry. You have to go home. I'm keeping this. The next letter is I. I can say I, or it can say eh, 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 like. Insect. <laughs> Do you hear it? Hmm. If only there were some insects around. There are. I is for insect. Next up, the letter J. J. That's a fun one to say. J. J. And guess what I see right over here? A J jar. <laughs> Normally, I put flowers in here, but today is for J. J, J, Jar. K, we already talked about this one, didn't we? K, Kylie. All right, L, la, 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 la. Oh, yeah, there's L's everywhere. Leaf, L, la, leaf. What'd you find over there? Oh, a marble? Marble. Marble. Ma, ma, marble. That starts with this sound. Mm, mm, M. Marble. Do you hear it? Marble. <sighs> Whoa. Well, okay. Oh my. Okay. Oh man, this net is difficult. Net? Are you kidding me? Our next letter is N, and N makes this sound. N. Net. <laughs> Perfect. It's like someone planned that. Net. Net. Our next letter is O. So we need to find something that starts with the sound O. I wish I could find something orange. Do you hear it? Orange. There's even some orange on the letter. Do you see anything orange around here? Oh, look at that tree. Oh my goodness, that is such a beautiful orange color. Hmm. Huh. Ready? Orange! P. 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 
pumpkin. P. Pumpkin. Q. Qua. Qua. What starts with Q? Good question. Q. R. 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 I know. Rail. Do you hear it? R. R. Rail. S is next. S. I know exactly what starts with us. Soccer. Oh, whoops. Soccer. T. T makes the t sound. T -t. That reminds me of another sport, tennis. Have you ever played tennis? Have you ever played tennis with a tennis ball this big? It's terrific. <laughs> Looks fun to play with. I wish I had a big racket. I would just hit it. Do you know what that tennis ball just landed in? A trampoline. Let's jump. Do you want to see a trampoline trick? All right, I'll do my best. Jump, jump. Whoa, the crowd goes wild. You might be asking, Kylie, why are you up, uh, uh, up there? Well, because U is the letter that makes the uh sound like up and upside down. V, 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 v. Vine, vine. I saw this W earlier. Wa, wa, wagon. Wagon. This one's got me stumped. X. You can hear the sound it makes right in its name. X. Like uh, Dax. That's my favorite one, except the X isn't at the beginning of the word. It's at the very end. Do you hear it? Dax. Dax. The only words I can think of that start with the letter X are like X-ray, which I don't have any out here, or uh, xylophone, but that doesn't even sound like an X, so... Hmm, I have an idea. What about if we find the D, the A, and now the X, and go put it up in Dax's room as a little surprise? Want to? All right, where do we put that D again? D, D, disc. D. A. D, A, X, Dax. He's gonna love it. Hmm, W, X, Y, Y, Yard, Yard. Whew. All right, let's see what's left. There's only one left, Z. Z, Z, Z. <laughs> Sounds like a bee, doesn't it? Z, Z. <gasps> hmm. Oh, I know. Zigzag. That's two Zs. And guess what there is on this rug right here? Zigzags. Zigzag. I love being outside. I love everything about it. I love the wind and the trees. I love the sun. I love this stump. I love the grass. I love this bug. Come over here. 
Look at this awesome bug. It has black triangles on its back and it looks like it's checking out this really cool rock. Look at that rock. It has stripes on it. This is amazing. It has stripes on the front and the back. Look at this one. This one has holes in it. Hey, I have an idea. Do you wanna go on a rock hunt with me? Let's go. Come here, I see a really cool plant. Whoa, it's like little berries that are turning colors. But do you see any rocks? Whoa, 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 yeah, look. This rock is incredible. It's light, kind of a light gray, and it's a cool shape. It's um, a triangle. Do you see anything else under here? Look at this one. Whoa, this one's kind of a triangle too. It's a big triangle here and a little triangle here. These are so cool. Let's keep going. Wow, look at these flowers. They are my favorite color. Can you guess what my favorite color is? Yellow. Look at all the bugs. The bugs must like yellow too. Okay, okay, we're not on a flower hunt. We're not on a bug hunt. We're on a rock hunt. What did you find? <gasps> Whoa. I like this one. It looks like a pyramid. Oh, and it was sitting on top of this one. It looks really dirty, but look at this part that's just kind of clean and smooth. This looks like a shark tooth. Look at these huge ones. This rock is big and heavy and bumpy. And look, it has a friend. Rocks. Rock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I found lots of rocks. I found one that looks like a slice of pizza. Probably not very delicious. Look at this huge rock. It's very heavy and very hairy. Do you think you would like to have green hair? I feel like I just need one more rock, you know? The perfect last rock. Maybe a nice smooth oval. It's perfect. You are a great rock. Into the backpack with you. Ah. All right, rock collection. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Rock collections are heavy. Wow, guys. Come look at all these amazing rocks we found together. Which one is your favorite? Hmm. I think, I think my favorite is this one. It's so cool. It's so cool that this beautiful little thing was just hiding right in my backyard. 
What a beautiful day! I love taking walks in the fall. The leaves are all crunchy under your feet. Have you seen all of these leaves on the ground? Look at this one. It's yellow with brown spots and it comes to three triangle points. Ooh, this one's the same shape, but it's smaller and brown. This one is a different shape. It kind of looks like an oval with a point. I have an idea. While we're on this walk today with my dog, do you want to see how many different kinds of leaves we can find? Awesome, let's do it. Wow, look at this huge yellow leaf. I wonder what tree this came from. This one. Look, some of the leaves are still green. Some of them are turning yellow. Some of them are very yellow. And then this one fell off. Let's see what other kind of leaves we can find right here. Ooh, look at this brown spiky one. I wonder if this came off of this tree. Look, all the leaves fell off of it already. Keep looking. I see you. Friends, there is the coolest leaf right down there. Isn't it awesome? We're gonna have to be very brave and climb down to get it. Hash Brown, are you feeling brave? Let's go. Whoa. Oh, yes. Got it. It's huge. Oh, and look at this little baby one right next to it. I wonder if they're friends. Wow, look at this bright red leaf. I love it. Do you see any red trees around here? I love all these different colors we're finding. I love leaves. In the maker box today, you found a pumpkin and a clue. This is a clue. Now find another in a different box that starts with M too. Like the maker box. Maker box. Okay, in the maker box today, you found a pumpkin and a clue. Now find another in a different box that starts with M too. This kind of sounds like um, a pumpkin treasure hunt. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt with me? You do? Yes. Okay, okay. Let's read our clue again because we need to figure it out. In the maker box today, you found a pumpkin and a clue. Now find another in a different box that starts with M too. Okay, so I think this means that if we find another box that starts with the letter M, we'll find another pumpkin and maybe another clue. Do you know of another box that starts with the letter M? Hmm. Mmm, box. Mmm, box. Mmm, muffin box. I don't, I don't have a muffin box. Um, mom, no. Mercury box, that would have to be very big. Um, mail, mailbox, mailbox. Do you think that's it? Let's go check it out, come on. Mailbox. Clue, pumpkin. <laughs> this is so fun. Let's read the next clue. You found me, you found me. I am orange and round. To find another pumpkin, 
find someone furry and brown. Someone furry that's the color brown. Do you know anyone furry around here? Hmm. I know. I know where the next pumpkin and the next clue are. We need to find Hash Brown the dog. Let's go. I see him and our pumpkin. Hi. Hash Brown the dog likes pumpkins and he especially likes me. Now go find my other friends, friends, on what used to be a tree. Hash Brown, do you have any ideas? Well, most trees live outside. Let's go outside and look. Used to be a tree. I mean, here's a tree, but it's still a tree, you know? Used to be a tree. Pumpkin! Clue who? What? You found something? Where? Oh, of course! You are brilliant! The stump used to be a tree. And look, here's all the pumpkins. We found the pumpkin treasure! I'm so excited to find some eggs! Do you have your looking eyes ready? Me too. Let's do it. Oh, 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 we found our first egg. It's yellow. Should we wait or open it up now? Now, right? <laughs> All right. It's two cars. It's a green car and a purple car. Let's have a race. Who do you think is gonna win? I think it was green. I think it was green. We'll have to try it again in the studio. Oh! <gasps> this green one. It looks like an alligator. <laughs> What's inside? <gasps> what? It looks like beads for a bracelet. Should we make it? K-Y-L-E-E, -E. Kylie, that's me. I made a special bracelet just for me and I cannot wait to wear it. What letter does your name start with? Mine starts with K. Ooh, let's keep going. Whoa, two right next to each other. Green and yellow. What? Legos? <gasps> and there's instructions on how to build <gasps> this really cool truck. Should we do it? All right. is an amazing surprise egg. It's a little butterfly and a tiny, tiny paintbrush and paints to paint it with. Let's do it. This is the happiest little butterfly. I can't wait for it to dry so that I can display my piece of art in my house. 
Let's keep going. <laughs> what? How did this get here? And what is inside? Only one way to find out. flower pot, soil, a tiny seed, and a little bucket and a little trowel to plant it with. <laughs> that is so fun! Let's do it. I can't wait to see what this grows into. Cool! What? This egg looks a little different. It's big and lumpy. It kind of looks like it's made out of clay. That's why the clay was in the maker box, so that we can make Easter eggs together. That is so cool. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? There's something inside. This is a surprise egg with a toy inside, just like the other ones that we just found. How do we get it out? Have you ever broken open a real egg? Like when you're helping bake a cake or cook? You have to crack the shell, don't you? I wonder if to get the surprise out of this surprise egg, we have to crack the clay open. Should we try it? Okay. Ready? All right. One, two. <laughs> Three. What is, I know what this is, watch. Put the little ball in his mouth and <laughs> Sorry, I shot you with the ball. That is so fun. Throw it back. Nice. I'm here with my friends and we are so excited to find some Easter eggs, aren't we? Let's do it, ready? One, two, three, let's go. Let's look over here and see if we can find anything. Good job. Get it, get it, get it! Do you see any anywhere? Woo! You see it? This part is very exciting because we have to smash them to get the toys out. Smash them? Yep. Which one do you want to open up first, Dax? This one. Okay, put it right here on the rock. Oh, yeah, you can smash it that way. <gasps> What's in there? A cow. What's in there, Frank? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, what's in there? <gasps> There's something in that. <gasps> Silly putty. These are like rings that go on your fingers like this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Smash. <gasps> A slinky. <Yeah>. Woo! <laughs> I need to do this one. Look at. Woo! Look what hopped out of your egg. Frank, look. <laughs> A new power. <laughs> <gasps> and you got a cartoon, a purple one. 
win. And Dax got a yellow car. You guys should race. Oh, perfect. Look, a stretchy dinosaur. Hello, Fred, it's Kylie and... And we are outside playing today because it is finally spring and we are so excited. Do you love spring? Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that's my very favorite about spring is after all that winter brown and white and gray, green and different colors start coming out. Dax, what is a colorful thing that grows in the spring? I thought we'd start today with a flower hunt. Let's see how many different flowers and colors we can find in this one backyard. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Ah. Whoa, look at these. Dax, how would you describe this color? White. White, and friend, I see another color in here. Blue. Blue, and a very, very light yellow right in the middle, right? Let's go see what else we can find. Ooh, Dax found a good one. Wow. This is dark purple on the outside with a yellow middle. Very cool. But for more, friend. Dandelion. Oh, you're right. Dandelion is a very beautiful color flower. It's bright yellow. I wonder if you have dandelions all over your yard because we sure do, don't we? I like them. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh! Berries! They do look like berries, but it has a little bit different shape of leaf. Whoa, yeah. look at that. It's a bluebell. It, you think it looks like a bluebell? Mm -hmm. Wow, when you look at it this way, it looks just purple. But when you look at it this way, Add this in some white. Those flowers are super cool. Whoa, 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 get over here, friend. These are the tiniest, coolest little guys. Oh, I found a bright yellow That's a ball. I thought you were a flower. Wow. This is another one that's shaped like a bell. It's white with green spots. And then when we look inside, what color do you see? Yellow. I love that one. It's so sweet. If you're out on a flower hunt and you see some trash, pick it up, throw it away, and we'll make the earth more beautiful, just like these flowers do. Sounds like Dax found another. Flowers are the same we found with these. They're very similar color, aren't they? Wow, these look like stars. Can't you imagine these in the night sky? Dax is very excited about whatever he found over here. Come on! Whoa! These are daffodils. Do you like the smell? Do you? <gasps> this flower is amazing. Look at all the different parts. Hi, it's me, Kylie. Welcome to my backyard. Today we are playing a maker game. What's that you say? A maker game? Yeah, a maker game. This maker game involves 10 mystery boxes of art supplies and this spinner. Look. When I spin it, it will randomly select a subject for a piece of artwork. A car? A boat? Hmm, a lot of transportation. <laughs> so, we'll find the mystery boxes, spin the wheel, and then make whatever the wheel says with whatever's in the box. I have to follow the rules. The only things I have with me that are a little extra are this crafting table, some water, and some paper towels. Ready? Okay, first thing we need to do is find box number one. Do you see it anywhere? Oh, did you find it? All right, let's go. We got our spinner. We have our mystery art supply box number one. Let's spin first. A 
flower. Pretty. All right, let's see what we're making this flower out of. Ready? Oh, okay. Uh, glue. Scissors and uh, this board. There's not really anything to cut or glue onto this board. A flower. What if we use like leaves and petals and stuff to make a flower collage? Does that sound awesome? I think so too. All right, let's gather some stuff up. flower. We could just glue that on there, but that's a little too easy. We'll make something a little more creative. <gasps> Look at this. A flower with just glue and scissors and a board and nature. <laughs> Love it. Whoa, does need to dry a little bit more though. All right, you stay here. We're off to find box number two. See anything? What? Oh, good eye. Number two, I wonder what this mystery box holds. Open up the art supplies first this time. Oh, it's one of my favorite things, paint. And let's see, we got water, we have paper towels, we got brushes in here. Hmm. Nothing to paint on, no canvas or anything. Uh, we'll come back to that problem. Let's spin the wheel. Is there anything you're especially hoping that we make today? We'll see. Ready? Is that hamburger or monster? Hmm, maybe we'll paint a monster eating a hamburger. <laughs> Let's do it, okay, oh yeah. Okay, this is crazy because it's something I have never done before, but what if we used a leaf as our canvas? <laughs> do you want to? All right, let's try it. Monsters are fun because you can just be really creative. They're not real, so anything that comes out of your mind can be a monster. Um, monster, would you like some cheese on your hamburger? He does. Uh, any lettuce, sir? Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming up. What do you think? Should we give this hamburger eating monster a name? Hmm. Looks like a Phil to me. Mm. Bye, Phil. Enjoy your lunch. We gotta find box number three. Number three. Do you see it? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, also. I have a very, very cool friend here today. This is my friend Ashton, and he's a maker too. He builds things. Today, he's building a new playset. Hi! Okay, box number three. Number three is chalk! Cool, sidewalk chalk. Have you ever used this? Awesome. No sidewalks. Um, let's figure out what we're making. Ready? Cool. Where can we draw a train with chalk? We need like a big flat surface. The fence. You're a genius. You are no longer sidewalk chalk. You are now fence chalk. Let's go. Have you ever ridden on a train? I see lots of them. 
I love watching them go by and wondering what's inside. We have one, two, three train cars. They kind of remind me of our boxes. So let's see, in train car number one, we'll have a flower. In train car two, we'll have a, a monster. I've never heard about a train car hauling monsters before. Oh, kind of looks like a cricket. Oh well, it's a monster cricket. And in car number three, I guess we would have a train. A train hauling a train. So, all right. What do you think? <laughs> the Maker Express. I love it. Let's find box number four. I've looked everywhere in my backyard. I can't find number four, so. We're going to the front. This game is super fun. <laughs> okay, number four. I see it. Look, good hiding spot for wheel or materials first. Mm, let's do materials. All right. Oh, it's modeling clay. Oh, awesome. Oh, this will be really fun. All right, thanks for. Let's spin. What is it? <gasps> A boat? Cool. Got my handy dandy art table, and I'm ready to make a boat. First, however, I think I'm gonna make some water. Oh, and here's something funny. Let's make a little fish jumping out of the water. I'm gonna make a little pinch pot for the boat. So I'm gonna start with a sphere of clay and then I'm just gonna pinch, pinch, pinch. Make a little bowl or a, a little boat. And maybe some seats in the boat, a little place to sit. A spot for you and a spot for me. Ah, uh, maybe an oar so we can row, row and row our boat. <laughs> that fish better watch out. It is right in the line of travel. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Let's see, that was box number four. So next we're looking for one, two, three, four, five. Box number five. Let's do it. Right, number five. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> number five, you found it. I tripped on it. Let's spin first this time. <gasps> A donut! <laughs> I wonder if we have like cake and icing in box number five, but I kind of don't think so. All right, number five. Well, that's perfect for a donut, it's round. Do you know what this is? It's sand. It's colored sand. A colored sand donut? We can totally do that. Let's make it. So, I think for my plan to work, we're gonna need to use some things we already got. We need some glue and the scissors from box one. Let's cut a hole in this donut. Donut. Donut hole. <laughs> so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put a layer of glue down and then I'll pour some craft sand over the top and then I'll just keep doing that for the different colors. Exciting. Now the best part. Shake it off. I 
it looks delish. You want a bite? Good. Oh, you got a little. <laughs> Let's see. What box would be next? Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. Let's go find it. Looking for the number six. Got it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I know what this is. I have been wanting to show you this for a long time. I don't know too much about how to do it yet because it's kind of new, but number six is a 3D printing pen. <laughs> It kind of works like a hot glue gun. Like it gets really hot, so you have to be really careful or have an adult help you. And it heats up these little plastic rods and then you can draw with it, but you're like making a plastic shape. In our case, we're gonna be making a plastic, oh, I don't know yet. Let me plug this in and then we'll spin. A robot? Fun! Let's do it. It's all ready to go. Now we pick our filament. What color should we use? A robot. Maybe this cool silver. And we put it right back here. Kind of like you put a glue stick in a glue gun. Ready? Okay. I hit this button and it's gonna melt this plastic and start pushing it out. As it does that, I can start to draw my shapes. So far, it's just like drawing with an ordinary pen, isn't it? But because there's plastic in here, you can start building it up, up, up. This is gonna be my robot's little foot. I'm gonna weld the legs on, so I'm gonna put them like this and then surround them with plastic so that it all sticks together, hopefully. Let's see if he can stand up so far. <laughs> I love this robot. Let's build the body up a little bit higher. He's turning out so cute. I ran out of plastic, time to reload. this little robot's body done. Now I'm just gonna go in with a different color and add a couple little details. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe we'll trim those antenna a little bit. Nope. Oh man, I think that's exactly what he sounds like. Oh, do you want to know what he just said in robot? He said, let's go find box number seven. <laughs> hmm. Seven is one of my favorite numbers. I just think it looks cool. Do you see it anywhere? What? Oh, fun. All right, seven. What do you hold? <gasps> rocks! These rocks look incredible for painting on, so let's see what we're gonna paint. I hope it's something cool, I hope it's something cool. <gasps> A snake? That's something cool. <gasps> what if we laid them out like a snake and then painted each one? Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, hmm. Maybe this could be the head and then we'll just make like a snakish body. love this rock snake and I'm gonna leave it right here and hope that someone sees it and is first like, ah! 
And then like, oh. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's next? Eight. Let's go find it. Number eight. <laughs> All right, number eight, what do you got for us? Oh, okay. Tape. Three different kinds of tape. Let's spin. A cupcake! <gasps> A tape cupcake? That's cool. Um, cool, but I'm not quite sure. Oh. Do you think we could use this tape and like these sticks and stuff to make a cupcake? <laughs> I mean, doesn't hurt to try. Let's see. Maybe that could be like the top. Okay, uh, all right. Oh, I love that sound, listen. Okay. Oh, we could do leaves, like the little paper part that goes around a cupcake? That would look awesome. Look, they look kind of frilly like that. Let's do it. One thing I love about art is that you get to think in new ways. And that's one of the things that I especially love about this game we're playing. Even if it's something I'm like, ooh, I'm not sure that I'm as good at drawing that or making that as I would be like uh, a solar system. I'm really good at solar systems. That's okay because if I only ever made things that I knew I was good at making, guess what I'd just make all the time? Just solar systems, just one thing. And I don't wanna just make one thing the whole rest of my life. Art is about learning and practicing and trying. And even if it doesn't look exactly perfect, great, great, great to you after it's done, the process of making it, that can be the perfect, great, great, great part. Okay, it's a pine cone leaf with a shell cherry on top with a stick candle cupcake. And I had a lot of fun making it. <laughs> Let's find our next box. Looking for nine, looking for nine. Didn't find a nine, but I found a disc. Okay, take a little break for some disc golf. Ready? Ah, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> look. Made it and gonna make it. All right, what do you think's in here? Ah, oh, let's spin first. Ready? The suspense! A truck? A truck, all right. A truck. Okay, so maybe if we had like some boxes or like building blocks or something, that'd be really perfect. I know, I know! We didn't get any art materials, but there's other ways of making. Some people make music, some people make dances, and some people make drama. They act it out. Let's act out a truck. All right. Hmm. Should we like be the truck or drive a truck? I'm gonna drive a truck. Okay, so here's what I would do. I would like step up like it was really high. Sit down, seatbelt, keys. Grab the steering wheel, foot on the gas. I'm gonna act another one out, but this time I'm not gonna show you what the wheel tells me, okay? You're gonna have to guess. Oh, okay. Ah! 
Or, or this. Or this. Do you have any guesses? Come look at the wheel. Dinosaur, did you guess right? Good job. Well, that was super fun. Nine, 10. Whoa, good job. Ready for this? Okay. Uh, okay. It's a big box. I have always wanted to play with these. They're these little styrofoam noodle things, kind of like a pool noodle, but there's something magical that happens with them. Watch this. If you get them just a little bit wet and then you join them together, you can build. Cool, huh? Let's see what we're building. A unicorn? That's a good way to go. All right, a unicorn. One last piece for this unicorn, and I think it's ready to fly. Do unicorns fly? Sure, yeah, this one does. It's pretty cool. I had really a lot of fun shaping and molding those together. I have had so much fun hanging out with you in my yard today and playing this mystery art game. We counted one to 10, found boxes all over the place. There were tons of creative challenges that we met and we made some really cool stuff. Most importantly though, we had a great time like we always do. If you wanna make more art with me, I always wanna make more art with you. Just search for Kylie Makes It, K-Y-L-E-E, -E. that's me. I'll see you next time.